not have completed high school. If Harbor was not an option, wouldn't have completed it. My name is Samantha Nichols and I graduated from Harbor High School in 2018. I kind of started at Harbor because I had a, a very difficult time um, connecting with my peers emotionally. My name is uh, Bailey Duvall. I graduated in 2018. I was the salutatorian that year. I started out at Lakeland and I completed my freshman year at Lakeland. Got maybe a month or two into my sophomore year at Lakeland. There's, there's too many people. My anxiety is not handling this very well. I felt a lot like a fish in a school where there's a thousand other fish. I definitely feel like I fit in more at Harbor. I was really scared to come to an alternative school. I struggled for, for months on the decision. Eventually, um, we got to a point where, you know, he started to see how, how impactful the school had been um, on allowing me to open up, on allowing me to get that socialization that I, I never really had had before with people who had very similar experiences to me. Not having Harbor would have been a struggle. All right, so can anyone think of another way to say pretty? What's another word for pretty? It was definitely more of a environment that I could relax a little bit um, and just focus on trying to graduate. Here, teachers get to sit down and talk to you on a personal level. They're not just your teacher, but they're also your mentor. It was different, for sure. Um, it felt a lot more personable, even you know within a week of going here. I would say that the difference is the education plans. The, the way that they're able to kind of individualize each student's journey here. By the time July rolls around, I'll have a degree from U of M. Ideally, I would be working in research, um, but also helping with implementation of global health practices. I graduated at 16 and I applied to the University of Michigan and I was accepted uh, at 17. And I just graduated uh, in 2023 with my bachelor's in accounting with a minor in economics. Um, and I am going back for my master's. I'm working on my master's uh, for accounting, uh, master's in the science of accounting. I work full time for Illich Sports Entertainment. As a student at Harbor, you feel very seen. Um, and you can, you can tell that all of the teachers want you to succeed. Harbor taught me so much in four years that I, I honestly don't think I would be the same person today whatsoever had Harbor not been around. Because they truly care and you can feel that as a student and when you are struggling just to graduate high school, sometimes that's what you need. I was yes. testing you. <laughs> you passed. Good job. That difference is so immense. That, uh, that community feeling that we're in this together. It's something that Harvard did so well is that every student is willing to go that extra step for the other students, not because, not just because students here are great, but because the culture of Harbor is that a teacher's willing to go an extra step. And that's what I would want to tell the kids at Harbor too, past and present, of like, you, it's okay to deviate from that. Like there is nobody telling you that you have to follow this, this strict path. The whole beginning of my story is so difficult and it felt so unattainable to become someone successful. And I, and I had to grow and grow and grow and grow and Harbor really pushed that growth. Without Harbor, I, I don't think I would have been able to grow and blossom like I did. Alternative schools are so helpful and they, students need them, you know? Like you're, you're cutting out a portion of kids that, you know, maybe they don't like being in a group of 35 students. You know, maybe their anxiety doesn't handle that well. What is Harbor to me? It was this place where I learned how to be myself. Mm -hmm.